So today we're looking at W4 Build. It's developed by W4 Games, for Gato Engine developers. So whether you're a solo indie dev or you do a lot of game jams or you are actually a small studio, this could be the solution to a lot of your headaches. So what does W4 Build actually do? W4 Build is what's called a Continuous Integration Build and Compile Manager. In much simpler terms, it automates two time-consuming tasks. One, exporting your game to multiple platforms, Two, uploading your builds to distribution platforms like Steam or itch.io. You're working on a game, maybe you finished your game. If you want people to actually play your game, do you send them a copy of the engine and all your source code? I really hope you don't do that. If you want an end user to run your game, you need to build it within the engine or you need to export it. But as you know, not everyone uses the same platform. So you need to build your game for each target platform. That means you're building for Windows, you're building for Mac, mobile, web, Android eventually consoles, and you really want to do as many platforms as possible because more platforms mean more players. Manually exporting your Gato project for Windows, Mac, mobile, and web every time you make some big change is kind of a productivity killer. W4 Build solves this by connecting directly to your code repository and handling the entire building process automatically. Here's how it works. First, you set up what is called a game matrix. And now this defines what builds you need. Next, you're gonna create a build configuration that points to your repository and then specifies which Gato version you want to use. You can also compile the engine within W4 Build and you can pick and choose what parts of the engine you want to compile. This means if you're making a 2D game, you don't need all the 3D stuff. You can just compile the 2D stuff and export that. Finally, you create jobs for each platform you want to target. Now this could be Windows, Linux, web, mobile. So whenever you run a matrix, every job that you created is also going to run. So instead of doing multiple builds manually, you can do one call on the matrix and everything gets built. Now you've done the groundwork and you've got your matrix configured. W4 build can trigger these builds in two different ways. The first is a cron job. Now you can run a cron job however often you want. You could do it every day, every week, every month, every year, for whatever reason. This is gonna allow you to schedule automatic builds. Let's say you wanted to make a nightly build for your team every day at night once you've done a code update. The second way, and this is where it gets pretty cool, are webhooks. This allows you to automatically build your game whenever you push code to your repository and you have a whole set of custom rules that you can define to decide when that is. Let's say you push a new feature to your repo at 2 p.m. W4 build detects the change, automatically creates builds for Windows, Linux, and the web, and by 2.15, your entire team has access to the latest version, and you didn't have to do anything. No manual exports. So if you're working with a team, this really ensures everyone always tests the correct build, regardless of whatever operating system that they're using. Now, if you're making a game by yourself, it eliminates build management overhead, so you can just focus on making your game. And for game jammers, and I know that a lot of you do game jams, it's really invaluable because it gives you really fast iteration and really quick deployment to testers whenever you're uploading your game. And after you're done testing builds and doing all of that dirty work and you're ready to publish, then the same automation applies to distribution. After setting up deployment configurations for platforms like Steam or itch.io, you can automatically upload your game with each new build or on a schedule that you define. Again, this means that you can push new code, the build is automatically created, and then W4 Build will automatically upload that to those distribution platforms. And all of this happens in minutes. So what does all of this cost? Well, W4 Build, like a lot of cloud-based services, uses a credit-based pricing model. But honestly, if you're a solo developer or a really small team and you're doing, you know, three or four builds a month, you can go with a free plan. That's really gonna be more than enough if you're doing the occasional game jam or you're developing at a much slower pace than a larger team. If you really need to crank out builds multiple times a day, then you can go for the dev or the indie plans and that costs 10 to $50 respectively a month. But if you go with the largest plan, then you can get over a thousand builds a month for $400. So here's the bottom line. If you're developing in the Gato engine and you're targeting multiple platforms, W4 Build is gonna eliminate hours of tedious export work. As a solo dev or a small team, the free tier 
is already gonna save you a lot of time and it's completely risk-free. And even the paid tiers cost much less than what you'd pay someone to actually handle these tasks manually. If you're really serious about developing for multiple platforms, then the amount of time that W4Build could save you is non-trivial. And I think the most important thing is that it's going to allow you to focus on the thing you want to focus on, making your game. So I encourage you to, to check out W4Build. There's a link in the description. It's free, see if it saves you some time. And if it does, then use it.